welcome to another episode of the Sound in Paris podcast. Yay! <laughs> Today we have with us the beautiful Shanice from Worshipper. And last week we had her, her husband Eric come and speak. So yeah. they actually are part of this Christian brand called Worshipper and they are impacting lives all over the place. And yes, Shanice, welcome. I am so glad to have you on the show. Hi. <laughs> Hi everyone, hi Ashura, thanks for having me tonight. Yeah, no worries. Why don't you share a bit of um, background with us before we start? Uh, okay, so actually I I came to Christ four years ago. Oh. So, and I used to worship uh, different kind of spirit and even uh, I went for tarot cards wow. just to ask about my relationship and my career. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, these are the two things that I used to pursue back then. Wow! So I will purposely flew to Bangkok, you know, for yeah, legit, yes, <laughs> yes, wow, for, for the for the spirit, yeah, and, and then God has redeemed it. Yes, wow. four years back, and He miraculously healed uh, my anxiety wow. and also gastric pain. Amen. And, uh, because I used to be a, I used to have a really really terrible gastric pain and also anxiety for years mm. yeah wow. so and uh, up after my baptism and I just spent at least three to four hours uh, to read the word every day wow. and God just healed me from there so these four years uh, I don't need to rely on any medicine and even supplement I wow. just uh, live with the word of God that's yeah. so incredible. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Five minutes in and I'm so encouraged already. Yeah, yeah so I love that so much. Yeah. And today we are going to talk about marriage in God's eyes because God has not just healed you physically mm. and internally. He has healed your heart. Yeah. He has redeemed your love story. Yeah. So yeah, Shanice, why don't you tell us about that? Tell us about your love story, please. Mm, okay, my love story. Let me think. Um... Actually, to be frank, I never thought of I will be meeting someone like my husband Aww. before. Because okay now, because since I was young, I actually uh, experienced sexual harassment mm-hmm. when I was five. Mm. So and uh, I actually I also lacking of fatherly love mm-hmm. in my you know in my childhood. So ever since then. Uh, I've been pursuing relationship after relationship yeah. and I'll be very easily to fall into a relationship until uh, 28 years old when I met Jesus. Wow. He actually uh, shows me that, hey, you know, uh, ever since five years old, because of the incident, my heart was broken. Mm. And after so many relationships, you know, uh, he need to heal me, heal my heart. Wow. Uh, because of the brokenness in my heart uh, causes me insecurities. Mm-hmm. So there is a lot of uh, manipulative and controlling in my previous relationship. Okay. So... Uh, you mean you were doing the manipulating or you were manipulated? I am the one who manipulate my oh. you know, previous relationship. Okay. Yeah, because of the insecurities. Wow. So I'm trying to control everything under my control. Okay. And I, everything have to go my way. So it's really terrible. Mm-hmm. And uh, until four years ago, um, when I uh, met my husband, mm-hmm. I tried to practice the same mistake again. Oh. Like trying to go my way. Uh, even though I know he's the man who got appointed to me, mm-hmm. I told God, I remember I told God, I said, God, if he's the one, I want it now, like now, according <laughs> to my timing, not yours, God. <laughs> So I was like, oh my God, it's been so aggressive and been struggling a lot, mm-hmm. right? And the Lord uh, told me that you need to let me heal you first wow. before you go into a relationship, even to a marriage. Otherwise, you will be bringing so much of baggage into this relationship. It's very mm-hmm. unfair to my husband. Wow. And then I choose to let go, uh, go back to the world because... Uh, I in I always in love with Jesus. Mm-hmm. His love is so tangible uh, to me. Mm-hmm. I remember one time uh, when I was uh, journaling, then I just wrote like, "God, I love you and I miss you." Okay, <laughs> so after journaling, so, so precious. Yeah, 
in, at my at, at the balcony actually. So I just uh, after journal down everything, I just close my eye and pray to God. I say, God, I love you. When I open up my eyes, right, actually I saw a huge heart uh, in the midst of the clouds. Wow. It's like a heart shape. I still have the picture. Oh. Yeah. It's like God answer respond to me instantly after I say I love you, God. Mm-hmm. So he's so romantic, you know. Yeah. He, the the best lover, you Amen. know. He, he he told me that yeah, uh he, I can do something that human being uh, cannot do. Wow. And the human being cannot do things that I could do. Mm-hmm. Right? Because I always Maybe I watch too much of TV drama, la, okay? So <laughs> I will have all kind of fairy tale in, in my in my expectation. Mm-hmm. But until I met Jesus, right, he's the ultimate lover. He, oh. he really, really shower so much love uh, upon me, you know. I can just be like a little girl, uh, stay in his love. Mm. So I don't need to lean on my own strength anymore. That's so incredible. Yeah. And his love melted away all that pain, right? Yes, all the insecurities. Wow. Just, just something very supernatural that I cannot explain mm-hmm. how when God take over my heart, my heart was filled with his love. Wow. And, and he says in the Bible, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. That, mm-hmm. That's how he set me free from all the comparison back then. Amen. Uh, because my circle of friends back then, they are very capable. It's very easy it's very normal, like we, we earn five figure or six figure a month. It's normal mm-hmm. in our circle. So that makes me try to compare mm-hmm. myself and even I have the uh, thoughts of uh, commit suicide mm-hmm. because I just, like 28 years old, what are you doing here, Shanice? Mm-hmm. Look at your career, look at your relationship. Everything is, is in a mess. Such a lie from the enemy. Yeah, yeah. So God really set me free from all the bondage, all the comparison. Uh, of the world. Wow. Mm. And how was the healing journey like? Because you came to know Christ like four years ago, right? Yeah. And you said there was a lot of things you had to let like, go and also be set free mm. of. But like, where did it start? And how, how did you actually begin to go into that? I think uh, when, mm, when I know God is actually telling me it's time for me to let go of my career, when uh, when I came to Christ mm. after my baptism, okay, somehow in my because that last time I used to be very active in e-commerce, mm-hmm. so I have my uh, own team like two hundred people, but that time, uh, I, I know God is asking me you have to let go of whatever you're doing now and you have to spend time with me mm. every day. I know He wants to show me through the Bible. Like what yeah. is the purpose he corrected me? Mm-hmm. Because back then I was thinking I want to earn as much as money I can, travel mm-hmm. around the world, you know, buy all the branded. That's my previous lifestyle. Mm-hmm. So that time I said yes to go, uh, yes to God. I yeah. I let go of my uh career, which I can earn quite a good income back then. Mm-hmm. I choose to believe in God, even though I don't really know Jesus wow. at that time. Because I don't have any Bible knowledge. But I just have uh, an encounter where I felt the love of God is so tangible. Yeah. So actually, uh, I I just attended HDBB less than five times that time. HDBB is a church, by the way. Yeah, it's a church. <laughs> yeah. And I just make a decision in my heart. I want to baptize. I want wow. to get baptized. I want to... You know, just follow Jesus. I didn't even think about how my family or how my friends will, will uh, think of me. Mm-hmm. I just know in my heart, I want to be a Christian. Wow. Yeah. Like you were just being so overwhelmed by God's love. Yeah. That's yeah. so incredible. Yeah. And by the way, like uh, disclaimer here, right? We're mm. not telling everyone to quit your job once you come to know Jesus, right? Mm. Yeah. This was just her specific calling. Mm. And like, you know, when you, when you quit the job to like spend time with Jesus in mm. those few hours every day, like, was that like an accelerated transformation and healing that took place, or was mm. it something that still like took time and all? Definitely. Uh, actually, in in fact, the transformation was quite fast. Mm-hmm. I would say, uh, because from uh throughout the devotion, right? Yeah. God clearly shows me how valuable and precious mm-hmm. I am in Him. Mm-hmm. Right. So and He healed me. Whenever I read the Bible, uh, the Lord is your 
no, your maker is your husband. I was like, wow, wow. God, you're so powerful. You know, in Cantonese, <laughs> because very young lah. Okay, God, you're so you're so you know, I like I can't. God is so so loving. Yeah. And, he is loving, powerful, yet tender. Wow. Understanding. I love that description. Yeah. Wow. Like he, he has everything. He is the creator of the whole universe, yet he loves you with, with a tender love, you know. Wow. No one on earth can, can, you know, give me that kind of love. Wow. Yeah. And I feel like that's breaking things off of people right now. Mm. I, I believe that you just talking about God in this way is breaking things off Amen. of people because truly he does love us so much yeah. like he he's so all-powerful all-knowing but he's so tender yes. and he's so romantic yes. and he loves us and he, he he will not like forcing you to like like hey you have to come to me you have to love me no he just waiting patiently at the door of your heart wow and whenever you are ready he will just come into your life i love yeah. that i love that so much yeah wow and like Shanice, you know you've gone through like your fair share of mm. like you know going through that childhood that terrible thing that happened you know like assault mm. and harassment and and then after that going translating to like high school where you're like um going through relationship after mm. relationship what is your advice for people who have gone through that or are going through that mm. i think uh most importantly is to know jesus well wow. above all things um because Actually, our soul, right, always looking for something to anchor on. Mm-hmm. And most of them, like for myself, back then, where is my secure? Where is my anchor? My bank account, right? <laughs> I will always look into my bank account, right? But this thing doesn't last, mm-hmm. okay? This is just a fake security of the world. Mm-hmm. But the Lord say, when you trust in me, with all your heart, your mind, and your soul, when you love me, yeah. right? Like what Eric says last week, seek, seek first the kingdom. Everything shall be added. Added yeah. means you don't need to pursue. Wow. All your life, you just need to pursue who God is, pursue uh, the love of God. Everything you need, or even you, your, whatever you want on yeah. earth, right? He will just add to you. So um, I always encourage the people surrounds me Mm -hmm. just open up your heart to know jesus because Mm -hmm. jesus is so real yeah when you call upon his name he's there you know how actually uh jesus came to me before i was uh uh, Mm non-believer he actually came to my room oh um yeah that time i i sleep alone right so uh the whole room was dark so one night uh he just I couldn't differentiate whether it was a dream or it is something real because it's too surreal. Mm-hmm. My whole, my entire bathroom, right? Um, so bright, wow. like a dawn. So bright and then that time I felt so warm, like someone, someone is embracing me. Mm-hmm. And then not, not even that, actually tr- like uh, within two days, mm-hmm. Jesus came to my room and also I saw an angel in front of me Wow. when I was in, in the... Uh, airplane because I'm sitting be- beside the window right mm-hmm. so I can clearly see a, a huge angel so cute I saw the wings everything wow. that time I'm not even Christian yet yeah and I don't but I feel so joyful so I go I, that time I attending church right yeah so I just uh, share with one of the sister then she asked me how many days you saw all this sign I was like two days then she told me, this is a very strong uh, confirmation that Jesus came for you. I was like, huh? Wow. Why, why, why he want to come to me, you know, like, uh, I don't know him. Mm-hmm. But that time I just felt so much love and I, I want to know more about this God. Mm-hmm. And until now, four years down to the road, he never uh, disappoint me. And he never failed uh, to show me how much he loved me. Wow. Yeah. That is so incredible. Yeah. I'm like, it oh, is. So good. wow, I'm just so touched right now by yeah. how much Jesus loves you. And he just showed up to you even when you didn't believe in him. Yeah. And he, he was just giving you signs, sending like an angel to follow you in the airplane. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah but Shani is like, 
Um, back to your love story, mm. you know, af- so after you came to know, like, Christ, mm. and you actually met Eric, like, in a bar, right? Yeah. So, tell us more about it. Okay, that time, yes, because I'm a wine lover. Until now, I still love wine. <laughs> but I, I would not abuse wine, like, back then. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, that time, I met Eric uh, in his previous wine bar. Mm-hmm. But we didn't talk much. Because uh, I'm a very outspoken, outgoing person, but he's more gentle, reserved. Uh, yeah, yeah, more reserved. So for him, he will definitely avoid avoid me. Okay, uh, until one time, uh, his partner, which is my friend, told him that I will be going to baptize soon. So that's our first conversation because mm-hmm. he came to congratulate me, right? So and something very. Uh, I would say special Mm -hmm. because after my uh, baptism of the Holy Spirit, right, I just had an impression in my heart I need to give a text to Eric. Mm. And then the next day, yes, we we, we meet up. Then, uh, I don't know, I just got just downloaded to to my mind, like asking him, like, uh, you you have a lot of things, you have something in your heart. Mm that you've been wanting to do for long, but uh, somehow you haven't executed. Yeah. He was like, how come you will, you will know? <laughs> I, I told him, I don't know. God told me, I just had an impression in my heart. And, and this something is the Christian streetwear brand that you guys are doing now, which is Worshipper, right? Uh, no, that time he still uh, attached with the white bar. Oh. Okay. Yes, so then he told me, actually he been struggling, for two years, whether he should leave the white bar or not. Okay. Yeah. So after the conversation, only he asked for confirmation whether he should leave. Then how? That's how our love story began. Because after he yes, he got the confirmation. You mm-hmm. know, he he left the company, and me, uh, both of us, we attending start attending Bible study with yeah. our spiritual mother under Evelyn, under Evelyn. So she's been like telling us, especially me, to slow down. Because I, I just fall in love with Eric at that time. Uh-huh. But he because he have his own childhood uh, memories as, as well. So mm-hmm. that time he he not really sure what kind of feelings he had towards me. Okay. But I uh, obviously I in love with him. <laughs> but you know, like we both are not ready yet. Mm-hmm. So we choose to lay it at the feet of Jesus and follow his timing. So and meaning like you you had feelings for him, but you chose to be friends with him first. Yeah, close friend, I would say. Mm-hmm. Mm. So and and God just prompt Eric one day, like ask, hey, if Shanice is my wife, show up. Three, three prayer came to pass, instantly. Wow. So the moment when we, uh, get together, we know our goal is to get married. I yeah. love that. Yeah. And and how long did it took? Like how how long were you guys friends to become together and to get married? Actually, it's just four months. What really? Just, just four months. Wait, yes. four months of friendship. Yes. And then you got together. Yes. Then after that, how? Uh, about one year and a half. One year and a half. Yeah. Then you got married. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so this coming November will be two years of our wedding anniversary. Wait, sorry, backtrack. <laughs> so you were friends with for four months before yeah. you got together. Mm. And then you, you were dating for a year and a half. Yeah. And then got married. Yeah. And then now you're almost married for two years. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, love yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that's so incredible. Like, I mean, did you even in your wildest dreams think you were going to get married? Because I know you grew up like, mm. like, you know, with brokenness and hurt and all that. Did you think you were going to get married? Back then, yes. When I was... Uh, uh, in secondary school, mm-hmm. but after that, I give up on marriage already. Really? Yeah. Why? Uh, because, um, I don't know how to believe trust in a marriage anymore mm-hmm. after so many time of brokenness. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, I I have a really strong character where I always believe in myself. Mm-hmm. Right. I just earn money and earn, you know be a capable woman. I don't need to rely on any. Man, this is my, you know, this is how uh, I, I think back then. Yeah. Right? So until I came to God and He totally changed my perspective of marriage. Wow. And I didn't expect a marriage with Jesus in the center. It's so sweet. Uh-huh. You know, like uh, 
most of the people will say like, yeah, a, a marriage, it, you, you, it will not be sweeter as the beginning when you start the relationship. Mm-hmm. But we have been seeing so much of people surround us, especially our spiritual leaders, Andy Evelyn, Uncle, mm-hmm. Uncle Billy, they, even they got married for 30 years, right? Yeah. They still like new lover. Aww. Because Jesus is in the center. Amen. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. You just need to love God. You love God, you will love your spouse. Wow. As time goes. That is so deep. You will not fade. That away. is so deep. Yeah. I think as someone who just got engaged, I am learning so much. Thank you. <laughs> but I'm really so- learning so much from that because the world, the I mean the world will tell you like, oh, you you get married now, you're gonna get divorced, you're gonna no. like lose the love in like five years and like you know it is the world always makes marriage sound so miserable but with God, God created marriage. Yes. This desire to get married is from God yeah. and it's worked out by God. Like He gave Amen. you that desire yeah. and He worked it out for you. He will preserve it. He will preserve it, yeah. yeah. And He, wow, and like, you know, I feel like I can relate to you so much because like, I came from brokenness as well and like, for God to even give me that desire to get married, that I, st- I want to get married, that's, that's God, that's <laughs> God, you know, because there's so many times where I told myself, I don't want to get married anymore. I'm yeah. like, this is, I'm so done sad. with this. I'm done with men. I'm a strong, independent woman. Yeah. All these things, you know. And turns out, I, I'm not, okay? Yeah. I'm not as... I mean, you can be a we strong... We are tender little bird. Yeah, we are tender little bird. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Why, why, and, my husband will kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I feel like... It's such an incredible like love story that yeah. God wrote for you and Eric. Yeah. And I think it's so encouraging to like, especially young single people out yeah. there who maybe like are wondering whether marriage is for them or whether they're still like, you know, whether there is even someone out there for them, you know. Like what, what advice would you give them for people who are single and waiting mm. and longing to have somebody and, and they're just waiting, you know. To always make Jesus your first love. Wow. And uh, I remember my spiritual mom, she shared with me one thing before we got together. Yeah. She says like, Shanice, if I were you, right, I would just sit there, relax, pursue God, and the man will pursue you. True enough, when I let go everything to God, I see how God changed uh, Eric's heart. Mm-hmm. And then, because, you know, like what I said just now, I had a, I used to have, okay, now I'm transforming. Okay. <laughs> so I used to have a very strong character, very aggressive. I would go all my way to get something that I really want. Um, but God is teaching me through people, through Bible. You need to learn how to be a helper. You are not the head, okay? Mm-hmm. God create man first, mm-hmm. right? So uh, including, you know, marriage. So you just need to sit there and relax trust that God already have someone uh, ordained for you. Yeah. Yeah, suddenly remember. Because you know when first time I went to our home church, right? Yeah. Uh, there's a sister. That time she is a stranger to me. Yeah. Uh, it's, our, it's first time meeting each other. She's very pro- prophetic. And she told me that, um, I don't know you, but I feel like, I felt like God, uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of people being, talking about you behind, saying that you are not deserve this and that, mm-hmm. but God wants to bless you more. And wow. He already prepared someone who will amaze you. That time, I, I, I'm not really close with Eric mm-hmm. some more. So, uh, true enough, like, God really amazed me because when I was very young, my ideal height of hus- my husband was <laughs> 180. And then, uh, he had to be so talented, and yes, Eric like excel all. He's hundred eighty two and very gifted in instruments, and he's English educated. Because, uh, don't know whether you can tell or not. I'm from a Mandarin background, so Mandarin was my mother tongue. Mm. I just picked up English four years ago when I came. To oh, Christ. yeah. So I I learned from bilingual Bible and then sermons. You know. Wow. Yeah, so, and I actually uh, had, uh, I, I went to piano lesson du- when I was young, but I failed during the grade 5 uh, exam. So I gave out, I sold my piano. Mm-hmm. But at the age of 28, when I came back to Jesus, he just restored everything. He gave me an English community. He gave me a husband who know how to speak English 
fluently and he he teach me piano like he restored everything oh when i was about to give up like i want to give up marriage i want to give up learning english i want to give up learning piano but god just restored everything oh yeah that is so beautiful amen and um, I love that, you know, you, you had these little desires like your husband needs to be tall, your yeah. husband needs to be talented. But I give up already. I was like, <laughs> okay lah, anything lah, anything lah, but God, God is so good. Yeah, but God is so good. Yeah. Amen. And I, I mean, like, I want to say that, yeah, we, every, I think a lot of people have a list, but mm. it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to follow exactly the yeah. list that you tell God. But the most important thing is that He really loves God. Yes, yes. You have to... Uh, love God first. Always, always make Jesus as your first love. Even now, I got married with Eric. Jesus is the first one. Every Amen. Night, sometimes he will ask me, huh, I'm number two. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus is the first one, first love. Because only Jesus would never fail you. Wow. Oh, don't put your expectation and hope upon human being, including your spouse. Mm. Eric will say the same thing also. Yeah. Because we will fail one. Yeah. We will disappoint uh, someone you know, it's natural. So, uh, I, I also want to share uh, my favorite verse, mm-hmm. Psalm 62, verse 5. My expectation and hope is from the Lord. Amen. You know, just put your expectation. God loves to show off His yeah. love for you. That's he right. never feel. Yeah. That's so yeah. incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh, Anise. One more question. Like, mm. how did you know for sure that, like, Eric was the one? Oh, uh, I... Yeah, strange because one I just had uh, confidence in me. I remember something very funny when we met each other less than a month and then I just told him like, Eric, I told you I'm your wife. How come you don't <laughs> believe in me? He was like crazy, this woman. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't hear anything from God. And I, I prayed. I prayed for confirmation as well because I told you that time I was very struggle when he doesn't know the feelings about the feelings towards me, right? Mm-hmm. So I actually prayed to God. I said, God, uh, if Eric is not the one, right, you have to take away all the heart desire in me mm-hmm. where I will not miss him. I will not have any feelings to him. But weird, like I still, the, the desire is still there. Mm-hmm. The di- what what I did different was uh, instead of being so aggressive like you know text him or call him or you know, look for him, I wait when I pray mm-hmm. and and I know the the desire is still there the feeling is still there, but I lay back I lean I, I lean back to God mm-hmm. and this is how I see God orchestrate everything wow. like move him you know like try to initiate more in this relationship and after a few months. He, he just felt prompted to ask a confirmation whether wow. I'm the wife. Wow. Yeah. I love just, that. Yeah. So you just had to surrender to God yeah. and watch Him make His move. Yes. And Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Wow. Yeah. And, and you, you really like laid it down. You asked God for confirmation signs. You asked God to like speak to Eric, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's a good tip like for those who are waiting or not sure whether this person is the one like just ask God for confirmation signs yes he will show up like don't be afraid to ask for confirmation signs yeah you have to ask you have to ask God when you ask right you know uh, God is so interesting if because he say uh, before we ask any prayer or tell him anything he already knew it Mm -hmm. but what's the reason he wants us to uh, ask because when you ask right and he answer you know it's him yeah yeah, that's right. He will always answer us. That's right. I mean, he wants to get the glory, right? Yes. That's yes. true. That's amazing. So, yeah. Shanice, any last words before we end? Still make Jesus your first love. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I yeah. love it. Yeah, yeah Shanice, you, have, you and Eric are such an inspiration. So and I love having you guys on my show. Um, why don't you pray for us before we leave? Yeah, sure. Heavenly Father, thank you for um, this amazing podcast and Ashira God. I pray that Father, um, this interview or sharing will go to the right people, God, Amen. and to set all the broken-hearted women out there, God, let their brokenness be uh, restored, uh, be replaced by your tangible love, mm. and show them, God, how uh, precious they are in your eye. And I pray that Father Lord, let your Holy Spirit continue to work in uh, the heart. Who, who are so wary, Father mm. Lord, for you never forsake them nor, nor abandon them. God, I believe you will do it again 
to show up to the people who are seeking your love. Mm. And I pray that God, more women will come to know you, God, Amen. to come to know this true living God who loved them to the extent uh, you died for us, died for them on the cross. Mm. You know, in the name of Jesus, I set free from for all the people who are in the bondage. Amen. You know, they they. Uh, couldn't see their value in you right yeah. now, Father. Let your Holy Spirit enlighten their eye of understanding to know God. Mm. In you, all things are possible. Yeah. You know, in you, all things are possible. And you watch Amen. over your word to perform. You never allow your word return in void. Amen. And I declare, Father Lord, in this, in this moment, you know, more people shall come to know you. Mm. For those who call by the name of the Lord, yeah. they shall be saved in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much, Shanice, for coming on this. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on all platforms, on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, YouTube, Spotify, and everywhere else. And yeah, don't forget to follow Shanice as well and worship her. And yeah, love you guys. See you guys next time. Yeah, till Bye. next time. Bye.